Sitting here with a blank mind, I know I can't say everything, but I know I must say something. Welcome. And when I first became aware of this subject, I found myself looking at ancient sites all over the world, and very often I wish I had lived anywhere else but America. And the more I continued to research this subject, it eventually became clear and it was staring me right in the face that the same architecture built by the same displaced people was found all over America and in fact this lent to the next part of the puzzle if the history of America is so young as compared to the rest of the world then this displacing of a prior civilization must have happened less than 200 years ago. And so we all began looking into our past for old construction photos and evidence to support the mainstream narrative. And what we have found is very little to support these claims. Seeming pretty clear that there was a past civilization on this continent before our people arrive on the scene. And in fact, we see at least two eras. One that is badly damaged, seems to have been hit with heat and water, and one that seems to be in pretty good shape. And when I say in pretty good shape, I mean the buildings, lending to the idea that the last reset was one of catastrophic consequences removing the inhabitants of this prior civilization, but yet leaving these glorious buildings behind. Perhaps the greatest proof lending to this theory. And of course, these being redesignated as hotels and libraries, post offices, capital buildings, schools, and many other designations. And oftentimes, People ask, what about the Native Americans? What do they have to say about this theory? Surely, they would have seen these ancient cities, would have lived amongst them, would have stories to tell. And in many cases, they do have these stories. Recently, I was told of a Navajo creation story. And of course, we have the Hopi creation story telling us that we've done all of this at least four times over. Civilization has risen to great levels only to be reset by one catastrophe or another. And of course, many of the traditions and oral stories of the Native Americans have been buried through forced education programs a great tragedy in our early history. And no matter where you go, even the most recent parts of the Americas, being Alaska, Hawaii, Nevada, the Old West, these exact same buildings can be found. And recently I was watching a video on the inception of Las Vegas. And even the story, as they told it, was supposed to be crude buildings and tents and makeshift hotels. And yet, when you looked at the background in these pictures, you already had glorious buildings in the style of the old world with the quality and craftsmanship not expected of old cowboys. So here I just wanted to take a little tour of Capitol Buildings of America. And Capitol Buildings are a good example because oftentimes some of the most glorious buildings are designated as Capitol Buildings. And typically always having this same style with a dome in the center and a grand entryway. And so here we begin with Alabama. 
constructed in 1851. A true wonder. 1851. And again, we have discussed the means of the people of 1851 and how such construction for people of this time would even be possible. And here we have the Alaska State Capitol. Just a little glimpse at it, seeming to be marble columns and a very easy repurposing. A handful of stick-on letters. And here the Arizona State Capitol. Very ornate. And we can see a little dome back here and some old world tech on either side. And very interesting. Many states, including the nation's capital, opted to build stairs leading up to this second floor, turning it into the main floor. Not the case here. Completed in the year of 1900. And here we have Arkansas, the Arkansas State Capitol, really seeming as if there may have been some ornamentation on these side pedestals. Of course, these buildings seeming to serve another function, and we see many of them having four smaller domes surrounding the main dome, seeming to be a functional roll, and perhaps very simply, powering the building. Completed in 1915. And here the California State Capitol. Completed in 1874. Arriving on horse to mine for gold, and within 25 years, inconceivable to consider these people building this. And here we have one of my favorites. A golden dome, absolutely amazing, overlooking the Rocky Mountains, the Eastern Gate, a true wonder. And this baby is located in Colorado, completed in 1894. And mind you, the population of all of these states at the time, so minuscule in comparison to present time, the means to construct are just not available yet. The ability to do everything, even heating and cooling, even in modern times, we see a window fan here. That's another issue. 1894, no cranes, maybe electricity, just arriving on the scene, perhaps for 10 years. And why wouldn't people build something a little more practical, a little more suited for the times? It doesn't make sense to do the most difficult thing at the most difficult time. What is this, a glass ball on top? Absolutely mind-blowing. In the late 1800s, there's snow on the ground half of the year, and realistically, impossible. And this has nothing to do with hard work and the determination of people in that time period. Connecticut, 1879, just an absolute mind blower, very castle-like and ridiculous. Georgia, 1889, looks like a gold domer. Idaho, 1912. Idaho, most known for its potatoes, of course. And this was the choice for a state capital in 1912. Illinois, 1888. Illinois, of course, having no shortage of glorious buildings. And unlike the amazing World's Fairs that they put out and eventually demolished the buildings, this beauty is absolutely permanent and essentially in the same style. 1888. And again in 1888, right next door, we have the Indiana State House Capitol. 
So at the very same time in the same year, just due south of Illinois, Indiana is constructing a very similar work of wonder. And here is the Iowa State Capitol, one of my favorites, the only five domed capital in the nation. This dome made of gold and absolutely over the top for a state most known for their excellent corn, 1886. And here we have the Kansas State Capitol. And perhaps this is where the Wizard of Oz resides. And Kentucky, 1910, appears to have a concrete dome. And in fact, the whole thing seems to be cast of concrete. Very beautiful. And Louisiana, in 1932, at 350 feet, this baby resembling the Nebraska Capitol building. And here in Maine, in 1832, very early time period, very busy in Maine. 1797 in Maryland, rather modest, made of brick, but again a very early time period, less than 25 years after the inception of this nation. In Massachusetts in 1779, again our nation is created in 1776, this is 1779. George Washington would have been around, probably visited this baby, if we're to believe this silly story. And here we go. This would have been one of the first glorious buildings built in our fine nation. And a complete joke with the means of the time. This is completely over the top. A people do not start out a nation in this fragile and early time period with buildings like this. 1879 Michigan, very interesting, the narrow type dome, and not one or two or even three stories would suffice, but in 1879 they needed four stories, plus all this on top. Minnesota, 1905, one of my favorite domes, and again clearly a cast concrete. Mississippi, 1903, Missouri, 1918, and Montana, 1902. Montana, way up there. 1902 Montana, probably not much more than cowboys. And this is the capital of choice. And here at the Nebraska State Capitol, sitting at 400 feet with what appears to be a copper Dome, 1932, and Nevada in 1871. I was recently watching a video on Nevada and especially Las Vegas and how they had to set up tents as hotels and saloons. And yet in the background of the photos we could see beautiful buildings and block work that completely was contrary to the narrative that they were giving us. 1871, the Old West. New Hampshire, 1819, very early time period. A lot of gold, very intricate. And New Jersey in 1792. Again, golden domes, very weathered. 1792. And the New York State Capitol. 1899, really looking like a parliamentary building. I actually wasn't expecting this. Looking very royal and similar to all these capital buildings. Very un-American. And here we are in Oklahoma. A massive, what seems like a Native American statue on top. And again, seeming to be cast concrete. And here in Pennsylvania, in 1906, very impressive dome. Not sure what the covering is here. Super impressive. 
and a first for me. I would love to get inside the top of one of these. Have a look around. Pennsylvania. And here, Rhode Island, completed in 1904. Again, these time periods and dates, very busy, as if this is the beginning. Everyone just realized they needed to build capitals all at once, and all in the same style. And here we are in South Carolina, seeming to have a copper dome, just a real work of art here unlike any others that we've seen. Completed in 1907. South Dakota, 1910. Again a first, and again seeming to be copper, completely mind-blowing. The intricacy, and just to set this baby on here, at this great height, having it fit like a glove, perhaps cast in one piece off sight, not sure. Absolutely impressive for any time period. And here in Tennessee, 1859. Really doesn't matter if there's a 50, even 100 year gap in the construction of these buildings. When we're dealing with these buildings, they always have this flawless and exceptional quality of construction. Whereas nowadays you can tell the difference of construction from a 1950s home to a 1970s home to a modern day home. Whereas these buildings are timeless, no matter where in this realm they are found. And here in Texas, 1888, again a popular year for capital constructions all throughout this nation, and just an absolute beauty. Again, Texas, Cowboys, Ranching, 1888. Completely contrary to anything that we would imagine. And here my Utah capital, looking absolutely top heavy. And in the past I've mentioned that just this dome and upper ornamentation could easily double the price of this building. And how could a government ever justify this to the people that they represent. But I suppose the excess of spending continues to this day, an easier part of the narrative to swallow. Built in 1916, and here Vermont, 1859, somewhat modest and top-heavy little capital building. In Virginia, 1788, and the Washington state capital. Real beauty, matching these flowering trees. And the West Virginia State Capitol. Very ornate dome on this capital. And really reminding me of a stupa in India. Kind of next level with this look. Almost having a religious, spiritual feel, unlike all the others. Very impressive completed in the late year of 1932. Should have a ton of pictures of the construction of this one. Wisconsin in 1917. Typically we think of Wisconsin as fine cheese makers and having a fine capital building. And if you notice in all of these, if you've been peeking, the architectural style is always different and yet the style of building is always the same. And here we're looking at Wyoming. Again, an absolute beauty for the cowboys of rugged Wyoming. Recently we looked at a beautiful pyramid in Wyoming in a past video. And here the state capital in the late 1800s. Remarkable. So I think I'll cut it there as far as capitals. Sorry if I missed your state, but I think you get the point. Not only are these feats of engineering near to impossible for the people of the time period, but unbelievable that these people, in the earliest time period, decide to construct the most beautiful and ornate and expensive structures that can be found anywhere in this world. 
both in that time period and in this time period. Did they have an unlimited amount of money, skills, and resources? Was there no architectural style in the early Americas, but one for at least 130 years? These buildings don't follow the natural progression of the American historical narrative. Either these people were totally unimaginative and full of abundance of resources and abilities, or these buildings were already here. And again, we're taking photographs in the 1850s. And 50 years later, in many cases with these buildings, we should have hundreds of photos of the construction. And time after time, we see these are lacking. Well, I think that's pretty much it for today. I thank you so much for joining me. And do have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe.